having to step away had to uh, get a haircut real quick. Uh, the advantages of having a partner that is a hairstylist and has been for many, many, many years. Uh, so that's kind of helpful. I'm doing fine, uh, Hangry Pirate. How about yourself? Gonna sit here. Uh, so, okay, guys, we've added in the new Wave State sound. You can hear it nice and live on the setup. Um, uh, like the sound, kind of fits in with what we're doing today. Beneath the signs of time in a state of waves, what it's called. Uh, What's up, Iron Joe?
this blowout. Uh, we'll add in our track automation now for when we fade in and out of our songs. We get a nice fade in, uh, a short fade in here rather. Uh, and I'm going to do that. So that one goes all the way. I'm going to fade in the audio on the Behringer D. So this actually fades everything in nicely. And I will do it also on the, Be uh, the Behringer Pro 1. Uh, doing that right now, adding in the automation. Put my little dot mark right there. And then it actually fades in now. those sound helps eliminate noise all right cool got that So now, can you hear me better? No, I don't have it routed. It's uh, actually going, it's a USB, uh, 60 hertz, 60 frames a second, 1080p. I'm running at 720 right now, but it's not going through my uh, Audio Express. It's not compatible with it. It's a separate, separate stream altogether coming into uh, Twitch Studio. It took me a while to figure out how to get all the audio routed in through Twitch to where you could actually hear. So I run a real hybrid setup here with the uh, the Digitac and the Access Virus are all stream uh, USB audio. So the Motu Audio Express, which is right here, you can't see it. I'll have to go mobile, but uh, what it does, it's the audio interface. So I have a 12 channel mixer on the floor and the Neutron, Behringer, D, everything else goes through it. And then it streams uh, 2448 audio into my, so it's my audio interface into Cakewalk, which is the program over here that, that you see me move the cursor around. Inevitably, it sums everything together, but the uh, two USB streaming units at 2448 or 4824 stream directly into it via USB. Then the uh, Motu Audio Express streams everything else into it. So I had to figure out the audio routing in Twitch because certain instruments you couldn't hear, like you weren't able to hear this at one point. Yeah, USB, correct. Everything, all my synthesizers inevitably are USB audio at one point in the in their uh, live stream. Uh, everything, so everything's automated through Cakewalk, but it is uh, in the end all USB audio. I'm, in a moment here, I'm going to have to bounce all this crap down to WAV files where I can actually get it ready to master and post to uh to post so that was all straight usb audio there uh but like I said, everything goes straight USB audio at one point or another in the setup. Now I'm just de deleting a bunch of... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to delete the node. Shit. There's a learning curve to it. That's for sure. Uh, big, big learning curve, by the way, to all this stuff. Yeah, I've heard of that other software, Iron Joe. Uh, what is it called? OBS? I think I installed that a while back. I just haven't del delved into it. I'm just trying to get the basics of this 
stuff right now. I mean, it works, uh, you know, for the most part, it works pretty good. I screwed up a while back and this track ran for like ever. So now I have to delete everything out of it. It's crazy. Uh, it just started running one day when I was recording and it normally stops. Uh, yeah, what kind of noise gate should I create for the webcam? I've got noise suppressor, noise gate. Uh, it's on right now. Is that better? Does that sound a lot better now? Okay, no problem, dude. I'm just uh, putting some stuff together right now myself, getting ready to do a final mix down process on this. So uh, take your time because I've got to get all the track automation correct and delete uh, this stuff out, which is stupid, but that's the way that it is. I have to delete this envelope. On every one of them that I do. It's a computer, or the cakewalk still thinks this song's like 30 minutes long, which it's it, which it's not, but it thinks it is. And then I have to mix everything down to audio, which is fun. That way I can put it into a FLAC file at uh, 4824 and export it to Bandcamp and to SoundCloud and all that, all that other miscellaneous stuff that I host on all my music on. It's a real struggle here to get this done because of the hurricane and uh, you know all those uh, that wonderful stuff we had to go through. Uh, kind of sucked. But that's part of uh, life I suppose. You know. All right. When I do this, I set a definite end to my song. Is it turned up all the way? No, it's not turned up all the way. Now it's turned up all the way, but it's in the red. Okay, no problem. No problem at all, buddy. I'm, uh, I'm just streaming. Okay, cool. Like I said, I'm just getting ready to bounce this track, convert everything from MIDI to uh, actual WAV files. And when I get through with that, then I get to export it out as a song and then put it up. I think that's all I need. No, here's one more I gotta do. Got to bounce, make sure, okay, that's fine. I got to make sure that the Kurzweil has its proper fade out as well. There's a method to the madness, but the song will be good. It's a fun, dark ambient, uh, dark ambient piece. So that's always nice. I see that, I see the mic picking up, uh, now much better, but we'll have to see how it does with the music here shortly. All right. So here we go. So he's hit me up on how many DB levers from your music. Uh, I'm right in the middle, uh, I'm right in the middle on the music. I'm not real loud on it. Okay, that's the, uh, 
How does that sound? No, I don't have one for all the music. Because it has, um, there's multiple inputs that I'm having to monitor. Like the virus has its own setup. Uh, now it's not streaming the audio there. All right, I'll max. I can max the voice out right there. It's maxed out. Can you hear my voice over? How does it sound? We'll just push play and see how this, we'll just push it and see how it does. Is that better? We'll delete this one, delete that source. Can you hear the drums? Oh, okay, I got you. Cool. I don't know. I mean, this is all new, so. So streaming and okay. Well, I mean, don't know how to fix that. Yeah. Well, I don't have any processing uh, expansion or anything on the music, uh, so it's coming like it's coming straight through on, uh, and I don't have any monos or anything like that. So there's nothing actually going on it. Uh, I can probably turn it up just a hair. Okay. Yeah, let me know. I have drums in there now, so that's cool. Okay. They play. I mean, I'm streaming a lot of data here. I did turn the music off. Here we go. Hold on. I turned the drums off. Drums are back on. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stop and mute everything but unmute the drums. That way we have drums. Drums are being stupid. Drums are being real stupid. <sighs> Trying to get this set up, figured out. Okay, let me unmute everything. Now you should hear drums. Thank you. 
Does that sound good? I, and they kind of drowned out. They're not a loud drum drum loop. I'm not putting drums in it. I'm just, I mean, I can work on that level later, honestly. Uh, I mean, I don't have it maxed all the way out either. Let's try it now. It's uh, called Brain Fair. It's from the Electron Digitac. It's a cool drum sampler. Synthesizer. That's the chord wave thing. Now let's see what else you can hear. Can you hear that? to set this all up. I mean, I think it's pretty decent. Sending messages too quickly. USB, so yeah, it's a keyboard. Let me put it on a different sound. Okay. What about this one? Can you hear this uh, sound? That bitch should come through loud and clear, but that thing screams. That's a Behringer, uh, Behringer D. That was the first monophonic scent that I bought. Let's go down here to the Behringer Neutron, which is another monophonic. You hear that? It's a mono synthesizer, so it's not going to have the spaciousness like that. The Korg is a, is a stereo synth. The Kurzweil is a stereo synth. Let's see what it sounds like. Here's the Kurzweil. It's a full symphony orchestra on that one. 
You hear that? Okay. Well, that's, uh, let's go to the Pro One then. That's interesting that that's coming through so clear. It's all summing down in a, a mixer that I have. Well, that's good to know. Appreciate you spending a little time with me on it. Let's put a different beat on here. Pattern 5. Valgal 1500. I don't really like that. That's called a uh, workaholic. This one is clapping. with a little mini lag into like 99 so it, we get a little lag on it Give God. Let's see what else I got on here. Remember? That's horrible. I don't really care for that one. I can go 
go through and program all those, all the sounds and change it all. Um, hold on real quick, I'm gonna switch the screen layout. Well, actually I'll bring this over to the screen. This is the drum machine right here, Joey. The Digitac. So you've got an FX Master on it. There's all kind of weird stuff you can do with it. It's not ping pong -y. And adjust all the levels right here. Beauty. Yeah, a little jazzy. Kind of 80s. 19th. So this is called Carplods. I like this sound. I've used this before. Synthesizer, like it's way over my head sometimes. So you can actually program a whole drum, like play music with this, the Digitac as well, not just um, drum sounds. It's not a bad, it's called rushing. Only sine. So this whole, every sound in here was made with a sine wave, just different attacks on it. So like this drum sampler is as powerful as a synthesizer. Just kind of crazy, you know? Some amazing technology. And then we've got four. Brain fair. Okay, we've heard that one. Let me switch uh, banks. Okay, bud. Have a good one. I appreciate you, Joey. Thank you so much. Good man, I'm gonna try to finish ripping this track down. There's nothing wrong if you, you had to go take care of your wife. I had to take care of Tammy earlier, you know. That's part of being being us, right? All right, bro. Be good, safe. I'll talk to you soon.
short attack on this uh, on the compression I mean.
so that's uh, kind of interesting there. Very interesting. Oh, good God. No wonder. No freaking wonder. Okay, that's a hard definite stop there. I think the Kurzweil 2000s on a full, the full orchestra. No drum loops used on here. No samples used, no Digitac used. No drum box. I could have put the drum box in there. List of the other gear that I use. Or not in use, rather. Uh, no effects used. The main effects used was the reverb. Two eighties, nineties. Super clean on that. Tube emulation, right? So did all that. VPNs 100. The virus, that's the four pads that I used for it. No FX for the virus itself. It's all inbox. And I can put that. Because I don't use, hardly don't use any external effects on it. It's all, you know, use everything. The virus can be used as an effects processor by itself. Which is amazing <laughs> by itself, right? Now the Kurzweil 2000 does have an effects processor built into it and I normally use it for its own effects. So it was effects 0605 big reflect hall. Did 
big reflect hull on it. Um, so that probably basically does it for this track, guys. Uh, I think I'm through with it. Need to add a picture there. We'll go to main storage. Go to Tumblr. And I don't like that. So we'll save this. Save as for 4.0.0 we'll save that so anything else the album is called free will is an illusion i don't know exactly know how i'm going to go with it because i do uh like i'll do an ambient track all ambient then I'll do uh, like a EBM uh, track with drums or percussion in it. I kind of just, you know, combine a lot of elements too in all of my music, but... All right. Well, here's the fun part. What I do. on this. I will actually have to now go go and mix down all of the individual tracks by recording the audio into it. It'll all be summed. Uh, into the music. I won't sum up the uh, the virus or anything like that. No reason to, because when I find, do the final mix down on it, it'll play itself. But all the analog instruments don't have real-time coding, so they will actually, so you actually have to do this. And you have, it's like playing the song real-time, but, um, yeah, kind of crazy like that, where it records the audio. So let me resave that. Some track automation on that ARP. Okay, uh, here we go. You're going to hear a click track with it. So I can actually disable that at the moment. Don't need it. And here we go. Record. You will see live, real time, the audio. Data Thank you. 
we are done. Track is mixed down. We've got it. We've got a final track right here now, guys. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to sign off now. I've been streaming for quite a while. One hour. So I'm going to kill it. I'm going to finish it because I've got some stuff to do here on my side. Y'all have a great day. Appreciate you watching. Uh, we'll start a new project here in a day or so and see what we can come up with. All right. Y'all have a great day. Uh, it's Renegade signing off. Later. <laughs>